In the world of Godzilla, many questions still remain unanswered. One of these being, could the legendary King of the Monsters survive the dark void of space? An idea that comes across far-fetched and hard to comprehend, but that hasn't stopped it from being one of the most frequently brought up questions in the kaiju world. The focus of this video will be determining if the current mainstream Godzilla coming from the Monsterverse could survive outside of Earth's atmosphere, and we have a special animation describing that coming at the end of this video, so stay tuned. But first, to help answer this question, let's first explore a swift overview of Godzilla's vast history and see if Toho's versions of the monster could have survived space. The Toho Godzilla's more fantastical adaptations of the monster leave this question more open-ended and difficult to answer. The original Godzilla was a true monster, but was killed by the oxygen destroyer after it ripped all the oxygen out from the vicinity, implying that it may have not been able to survive exposure to outer space. The following more superhero-like takes on Godzilla during the Showa era had a few moments that support the idea of this version of Godzilla surviving in space, at least for some time. In Godzilla vs. Monster Zero, aka Invasion of the Astro Monster, Godzilla fought Ghidorah in an environment that was not much different than that of our moon. Possibly meaning this Godzilla had a shot of survival in the deep void of space. The Heisei, Millennium, and both anime series versions of Godzilla were the most powerful and otherworldly of them all, capable of some of the most extreme abilities and origins ever seen in the franchise. Supporting that, these Gojira could likely do anything if they put their full capabilities to it, even surviving space. 1998 Godzilla is simply a mutated iguana, so space would kill it just as quickly as any other real-world critter our planet has to offer. Shin Godzilla in its early forms would have not been able to survive space, but with the creature's never-ending adaptations. Over time, the monster was on pace to consume not just Earth, but the entire galaxy. Surviving space would be a necessity in that conquest. Which finally leaves us with Monsterverse Goji. Remember, Godzilla is a fictional character, but this take on the beast is some of the more down-to-earth and realistic features and abilities ever seen from the monster. While this Godzilla mostly feeds off of nothing but radiation found all around the planet, it does appear that he must breathe oxygen in order to survive. We see him huffing and snorting throughout the movies, telling us that there is air being brought into and out of his lungs. And the addition of the gills on his neck allow him to breathe underwater for undetermined amounts of time. Speaking of the deepest depths of the oceans, the immense pressure found at some of the deeper parts of the ocean are enough to crush cars. 16,000 PSI. But Godzilla, being the titan that he is, seems to enjoy this extreme environment. In science, the darkest parts of the ocean are commonly used to emulate space. But does this mean that MonsterVerse Godzilla could actually survive there? Before we talk about Godzilla in space, let's first get a better understanding of that mysterious world up beyond the sky. There's no gravity in space, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Space is known as an anaerobic environment, which means it's completely lacking in oxygen. Due to the lack of air pressure, space is a vacuum chamber that rips the air out of anything that isn't properly protected. It's also very cold. Averaging out around negative 475 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 270 Celsius. And while it looks dark and empty, space is full of dangerous and invisible to the naked eye elements, like cosmic radiation that is constantly rushing through it. This makes space sound like a place completely void of supporting life. But there are organisms that do exist that can survive here. One of them, the famous tardigrades, or water bears. These microscopic creatures are capable of living in the harshest conditions both on Earth and beyond it. Tests have been performed on these creatures in space. And surprisingly, the tiny beings can survive space with relative ease. So if the water bear can survive space, is there a chance Godzilla, another animal adapted to the harshest of environments, could also survive this hostile place? For this example, let's say instead of dropping Godzilla in the atmosphere, that Ghidorah continued carrying Godzilla out to space and then let go of the G-Man, leaving him stranded in the void. 
what would happen next? Godzilla's insane biology that comes from being a demigod would make this hypothetical scenario all the more interesting. The physics of space that are enough to kill most living things as we know them may just result in an uncomfortable feeling for the G-Man. Space is a hostile and merciless environment, but this is a creature that can survive practically anything. Godzilla's super strong body and genetic makeup would be tested to the max in space, but in theory, he could be powerful and sturdy enough to survive the vacuum of space far longer than you may expect, but not forever. Due to his internal atomic combustion, the insane temperatures of space would likely feel like a cold winter's day to Godzilla. Uncomfortable, but not impossible to handle. At this point, things are looking plausible for Godzilla to survive space. But we cannot forget one very important thing. There's no air in space. We discussed earlier how it's clear Godzilla needs some form of oxygen to breathe and stay alive. With space being void of oxygen, we can hypothesize that Godzilla could only survive in space for as long as the giant could hold his breath. With lungs as large as his, this could very well be many hours. But due to the other external factors of space coming into play, his time till death would approach likely even faster as panic and duress began to kick in. In a last ditch effort to save himself, how could Godzilla get back into the atmosphere? Would he attempt to use his atomic blast to propel himself back down to Earth? Perhaps. But let me explain why that probably wouldn't work. In 1962, the United States detonated a nuclear bomb 250 miles above the surface of the planet, and the results were amazing. You normally imagine the bomb with the massive shockwave, followed by the famous mushroom cloud. But in space, neither of these occur. Due to the lack of air, the devastating blast can't happen. Instead, intense heat and light rush out in all directions. The gamma and x-rays emitted here then reacted with the Earth's magnetic field, creating an effect that looked like the auroras seen down on Earth. These impressive displays could be seen across Earth over thousands of miles, and some people reported still being able to see the lights for days after the detonation. So when Godzilla attempts to use his blast to fling himself back down to Earth, all that would come out of his mouth would be, in simple terms, really hot light. The devastating blast. Part of the beam would dissipate into the vacuum of space, leaving Godzilla to float in nothing but a beautifully blue aurora that inhabitants down on Earth might be able to see. So could Godzilla survive space? Regarding the MonsterVerse version, no. And yes. His impressive biology would allow him to survive for some time, and the powerful radiation of space would constantly be giving him power and revitalizing him keeping his energy levels and body mostly stable. But with no way to get back in the atmosphere due to his atomic blast being rendered useless, the king would be stuck there floating, constantly drifting further and further away, till he ran out of oxygen and died a slow, agonizing death. But this is simply a monster theory, and we never really know what Godzilla is capable of. What do you think, everyone? Residents, this has been Jacob. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this wacky and out there sort of video idea, let us know some more ideas you might have regarding Godzilla or Kong or any of the monsters down in the comments. Leave this video a like and stomp the subscribe button if you haven't. It really does help this stuff get out there to more monster fans. I thank you all for spending some of your day with me today. And I'll see you in the next one.